I have to have. <laughs> Someone please point me into the direction where you get a new baby father at. Please and thank you. That's all I want. Oh my goodness. Hey. <laughs> point me to the direction where you get a new one at because. Oh, baby. I should go live on YouTube. <laughs> I wish I had my bar of soap out here. I really wish I had a draw this so I could just put it on my eye right now. <laughs> this is a whole conversation. Oh my goodness. Sorry, we can't help. I just rolled my eyes that whole damn video. I was there for a little bit of it, but it just be like, bro, I don't even know what you're like. Do you know what you're saying? Take your crazy ass to the mental institution. I'm like, fuck is wrong with this nigga? <laughs> it's really sad how big someone's ego can be to see that they do not need help to be completely honest with you like it's really sad it's so sad that people be so stuck into their ego that they cannot see that they are mentally losing their mind you cannot treat people like dog shit and expect to be treated like royalty that's just not how it works Period. I don't care. There's no way. <laughs> Let me even. <laughs> can't even get my words out, fam. Cause this shit's so stupid. Like it's just this shit right here is really <laughs> some of the dumbest shit. <laughs> Why is the nut still mentioning your name? He took so many drugs. He got memory lapses. That's my problem with him. And it's just like, baby, like. <laughs> I don't understand why I'm even being mentioned. First of all, I don't, y'all see me, I don't mention this man until he come mentioning me. Like, I don't mention him, like, at all. Even yesterday, for you to have this weird ass, old ass, that old ass, dumb ass bitch be on live speaking on me and speaking on Golden or even just speaking on your baby moms, nigga, you're a lame ass nigga. Point blank period. You're a lame ass nigga because if I was to have, I just think that's lame as hell. Because now if I really join somebody's shit and get on here and get the dog in you with a nigga on here with some random ass nigga on here, you're going to be looking at me butthurt. Leave me the fuck alone. That's like, leave me alone. Let me tell y'all why he mad though. He's mad because he did that live yesterday talking, talking all that shit with that, with <laughs> It's even funnier because this the bitch we stayed with in Atlanta and then to find out she told us we could stay with her then to find out the owner of the house came and kicked us out this is who this who this is who you got defending you <laughs> you bitches are stupid <laughs> just plain stupid like let me go and do that disturb. Like, you motherfuckers is dumb. My stomach hurt from just. Damn, I don't even know how. Get off. See what I'm saying? I'll be clicking shit. There we go. Like, you, like, this, this is what I'm saying. Like, even for that female, <laughs> that dog ass female, fuck out of here. The bitch don't even love her skin. 
what's that disease where you get little like what's that called when you get little white patches and shit all over your skin she hates that shit she don't love herself she used to have her daughter calling him calling him dad and he, that's why he stopped talking to her in the first place but now that she basically amping up his shit she back into the loop bitch it must be suck trying to get some dick for four or five years <laughs> He still can't get no you groupy ass hoe. Fuck out of here. I drag you. I fucking drag you. Drag you, bitch. Dude, that bitch Nola was on live. How dare you have some lame ass bitch speak on your baby moms, bro? Now if I get on here and have all the real niggas tell you that you really ain't shit. And that you really are a pussy ass bitch, you'll be mad as hell. That you a pussy boy. <laughs> fuck out of here who the fuck keep beefing with females <laughs> i've never had this problem in my life <laughs> what i don't know no real man that runs to the internet to tell the internet any and everything that they got going on like i don't i don't know no real nigga no real man that runs to the internet to speak on shit you could have had a phone call about you should have been spoke on issues four years ago, stupid. If you had a problem with something, you should have said something right then and there, regardless of what it is. Now you butt hurt and here we are four years later. Stop mentioning shit, bro. Let it go. Let it go. If you're not mentioning from Houston on, let it go. Like, point blank, period. You pussy, bro. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm honestly shocked. I'm honestly shocked. Like... I'm honestly so shocked that this is who he has become. I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. I'm so shocked. <laughs> I, I can't stop laughing because it's just like, do you hear yourself? You mad because now all your bitches that you want to come over there probably is like, maybe I should think about it because you're a little bit crazy. Like, nigga, is you dumb? Like, what crack is nigga smoking? Like, I don't even know if he's smoking crack. Like, whoa. And then it'd be like, oh, you poisoned. Someone was poisoned. Yada, yada, yada. A, if you're being poisoned by people that you're letting into your home, why the fuck would I allow my child to come into that environment, you goofy ass nigga? Fuck out of here is you talking about. Y'all can call me fat. Y'all can call me unattractive. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. At the end of the day, it is about hey, rue. And at the end of the day, if you got bitches you can't even trust over there talking about somebody poisoning you because you don't know these females. Cause your stupid ass will let any and everybody be in your house because that's how bad you want to be loved. Goofball. You goofy. That's how bad you want to be loved. That your bitches is quote unquote poison you. Nigga, how the fuck did you not do? You from the streets, bro. How you ain't do no research on nobody entering your home, goofy? Them bitches flapped them fucking bird shits at you and your goofy ass went to just being in love. Goofy ass nigga. What you looking for is the love of your mother and guess what? She ain't here to give it to you. So now you searching in all these females and now you mad. Now you mad because... I won't let you walk over me no more. Golden won't let you walk all over her no more. We're no longer feeling bad for the shit that you've done. And this has been going on. But now you're not used to somebody telling you no and meaning it. That's the problem. And I blame myself for allowing you to get away with the shit that you have been getting away with. But that stops and that ends. <coughs> the reason why you're mad today though is because you did that live and i don't understand how you do something knowing that you need us to be in contact with your children you do something you speak it's crazy because one minute he'll be perfectly fine on your phone and then the next minute he go live and dog you out this shit is really it's it's psh, mind blowing so you're mad because basically what he does is when him and golden get into it he calls my phone and then asked me to call Golden on three-way so that we all can be on the phone. I told him no today. And that's just because off already off rip, Golden was like, I know he's going to try to call you. And I know he's going to try to tell you to basically call me on three-way. No, that's a dub. 
I respect that. I don't, you don't want to be dealing with that nigga throughout your day to day life. I get that. You don't want to deal with the stress of him today. And you need a break. I understand that. I accidentally answered the call thinking he was somebody else on Instagram. I thought it was my brother calling me. I didn't look at the name. I just answered it and took a glimpse at the picture. Like I didn't see it for real. So when he answered, I was like, damn, I was not supposed to answer my phone today. And then he was like, he was like, call Golden, call Golden on three way. I said, no. I did unblock him, trying to be, did unblock him, let him talk to the kid, talking about let Golden, um, call Golden on three-way, I said, no, I'm not calling Golden on three-way, she already told me not to tell, like, not to allow you to call her today, that's why he's mad, that's why he's upset, <laughs> that's why he's upset right now, that's why he's making this video, you relevant as video right now, that's why he is upset, you're a lame, and I don't know, and you always need somebody there while you recording. Like, I think that shit is so corny. I don't have nobody on my videos with me. Golden don't got nobody on her videos with her. Like, what are you, like, I don't, that is, that's, it's just really, it's honestly insane to me that you have another grown ass man sitting there, listen to you. Like, he's standing, sir, go get you a chair. <laughs> Like, go get you a chair, honey child, in the blue, in the purple shirt. Or like, why is you allowing this grown ass man to tell you about his problems on live? Y'all don't think that's corny? Like, y'all don't think that that's just like, I don't know, something you don't do? No? I'm wrong? Like, if I'm wrong, y'all let me know. I don't even care if y'all tell me I'm wrong or not. This shit right here is just out of control. Like, Bro, how? How is y'all sitting here with this man and then whoever the fuck is in the comments suck a thousand bags of dicks, for real. Your mother should have shot you at the wall. You niggas is pathetic. Y'all can't think for yourself. And I know somebody in there who lived with him too. It is just like, bro, y'all see that he does nothing for these children. You see that now, but since he's been home, he's been doing bare minimum. Like, you know, he's calling. Now, now he's telling Hero he gonna come see him. Like, nigga, this is the reason why nobody wants to be around you or nobody wants to deal with you because literally the mood swings are so fucking crazy. And I bet you by the end of tonight, he'll be texting somebody and fucking like trying to plead his case or being a whole different person. The persona that's out right now just don't fuck with me. Cool. Whatever. But it's just like I... I have to laugh it off because I would go fucking crazy dealing with this shit day to day, bro. It's damn near been six, seven months. Go get some professional help. Mental health, that means men too. You need to go get your shit checked out because it's clear as day that you're fucking crazy. And that's, I stand on that. I know who you are. I have been there from the very beginning when you ain't have shit. Like, ain't nobody who I have fed and clothed and fucking been there when you ain't have shit, a shoulder to cry on. Ain't nobody that I have been there for everything from the bottom gonna sit here and gonna keep trying to dog me, bro. Your days of dogging me is over. Because if, I, like, it's over. Like, nigga, you're crazy as hell. Like, just, like it's just crazy. Like, it's just crazy that I have a kid by this man there's literally no getting <laughs> like there's no getting to him there's no speaking to him there's no coming to a common ground there's no understanding there's no anything like it's crazy to me because he can have his whole mental breakdown but while he's having his mental breakdown i still gotta be a mom my personal shit can't get my personal shit that I got towards this man cannot be involved with the fact that I still have to be a mother I still have to mother my son I don't get no breaks I don't get no days off I don't get to say well such and such and yada yada this is why I don't want to be a parent today I don't get that option you should be thanking me that's what you should be doing you should be thanking me for taking care of your child while you go through your mental shit 
you need to get it together like that's what i'm saying like you i do amazing like you can speak on me about anything you want i don't care but as a mother you're never ever 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 going to tell me i'm not doing my job or doing right by my son because at the end of the day that's who i put first regardless to what the fuck i got going on regardless if i want to sit down and i want to cry my fucking eyes out regardless if my stomach is hurting if i got food poisoning regardless if my damn foot is cut off i am i have to be a mother to my son point blank period i don't have the option not to be a parent i don't i don't have that option and i don't get why the community period i don't care male 